Extreme flooding and heavy rains over the last few years has pushed the town of Leichlingen to take action to protect its 28,000 inhabitants from the inevitable future disruptions of climate change. We want to position ourselves better for the future, which means first and foremost that we get the water out of the city safely during such events. But on the other hand, droughts will probably become more frequent and we will need water. And that's where the idea of a sponge city came from. What are you planning to do here? The town's head engineer, Tycho Kopperschmidt, was put in charge of finding and implementing the solutions. This city park is already older. This city park is old and will be rebuilt with subsidies in the next few years. In the course of this, we'd like to rethink the theme of the sponge city. That means that under the new planning, we want to create an underground infrastructure, so to speak, to hold the water here. Currently, rainwater is mixed with sewage water and piped to a cleaning plant some 10 kilometers away and then fed into the Vupa River, an approach established over a century ago. It's now time to modernize things to meet current demands, says Kopperschmidt. The idea is that we will then install underground cisterns and the water will run into them. And these cisterns will be 30, 40, 50 meters long, 2 to 3 meters in diameter. They'll then store the water for the next summer in order to irrigate the city park there during these dry phases. Thanks to a grant from the federal government, these changes, costing a bit more than a million dollars, will make greener, healthier, more enjoyable urban spaces and help protect the city during flooding by being able to collect and redirect some of the water. The concept of sponge cities first originated in China following deadly flooding that hit the capital city Beijing back in 2012. Now, almost a decade on, and internationally, countries such as Germany, Russia, and the U.S. are all looking at concepts of sponge cities that they can implement into urban designs in their flood-prone areas. Leuchlingen is one of the first towns in Germany to pilot these ideas and hopes to fully implement them by 2024. If successful, it is expected that more federal funding will be available for other areas across Germany to adopt their own aspects of a sponge city. It can make an important contribution to the targeted management of heavy rainfall and to relieving the burden on the sewage system. There's a large network among us, water and sanitation professionals, and that's how we learn.